Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to the last day of remembering Matisse. Oh, man, guys, I don't, I don't want to butcher this, but it's Kiv Laniques. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um, by the channel NHL on ESPN. The link is down below in the description. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. It is very important to support the channels that you love. You're damn right it is. This was a suggestion from Jared. Jared, thank you so much for the support. I know you showed me part of this video um, like a year or two ago. I uh, do appreciate it. You guys can also help support the channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the descripto and throw it on through Streamlabs and let you pick one of the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10. Include the video's link title, your email. Follow all my social media up above. Guys, I made a new Snapchat. My old one is deleted, so make sure you go and subscribe to this one. And also, make sure you go subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram because we're going to be going on a trip and there's going to be a lot of content on them. Am I bugging you? No, you're moving the camera when you're shaking your Was foot. I? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, and let's get to it. This is a really cool story from what I remember. Let's go, Zakino. That's a warm up shot. This is Columbus Blue Jackets goaltender Elvis Merzlikens. Rebound, rebound. Middle, no. The 27-year-old was one of four Latvian players really in the National his name Hockey that bad. League last season. He didn't sound like anything that... No, they didn't say Matisse, did they? No, they didn't. Is that even how you pronounce it? <laughs> right, that's what I was going to say. Did you just get... Is that really a pronunciation? Let, let's you know what? We have, I have never heard of this person before. Um, I have once. So once, but how likely is it you'll remember a name pronunciation, you know? <laughs> Clearly we're not, not likely. Uh, we're not that many. That's the dream of okay, every single child. Okay, that's because it's not him, thank God. Uh, who has this it was big Elvis dream to Yeah, I was like, there's no way it's pronounced player. that way. In September, Elvis signed a five-year, $27 million contract extension. But Damn. this year, he's playing for something much bigger. This mask is uh, just for him. I'm going to try my best. And, and that's that's my goal. For me, it was really important to keep him in my hockey and still having his number, his name, his spirit with me, helping me out. January 19th, 2020. It will be Matisse Kivlenix starting in goal for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Matisse Kivlenix, a rookie goaltender from Latvia, is making his first career start for Columbus against the New York Rangers. He was so nervous. After first uh, commercial break, uh, he when he came to the bench, he was we were talking. I was explaining him. I was telling him that he's good. He's doing everything great. Just relax and just have fun. Save Kivlenix. Matisse Kivlenix with a big stop. With Elvis's support, Matisse made 31 saves and earned his first NHL Damn. win. Damn. First career win, and you get the hat, bro. Anything you want. Sideways. Oh. Honestly, I still can't f***ing believe, boys. But, like Cam said, Bjorki, great f job. Uh, and I honestly couldn't be, couldn't done this without you guys. So thank you. I appreciate it. It meant a lot. I was really proud and happy for my friend. I think this was his big shot, big, big start of NHL. When Elvis realized that Matisse was sticking around, he asked the rookie to live with him and his wife, Alexandra. They had a bromance going on. <laughs> it was like, I was the third wheel. They would go shopping together. They would cook together in the morning breakfast before practice. I'm gonna be more than happy to having you with me, playing PlayStation, watching movies with my wife. I just wanted him all time around. The last two New Year's and Christmas, we spent it all together. 
we just didn't became best friends. Uh, he was like really my little brother. May 2021. Matisse was in his home country, Latvia, to play on the national team for the world championship. Elvis was watching his friend closely from home. And Kivalich snags up the glove and makes the stop. I looked at sing every single game in World Championship. He was different goalie compared the year before. He was really more mature. His technique was much, much really better. And they beat Canada for the first time at the World Hockey Championship. A 2 nothing victory. Shut out is always a big thing for a goalie. Shut up in World Championship is even bigger. Thanks. <laughs> 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 But it is a show that you say it's <laughs> It is such a different language. Matisse was congratulated by Latvian fans after his 38 save shutout performance. After okay, so the guy's doing incredibly well for being a goalie, like great all around. You're gonna love this story where this goes next. Like it's gonna get really sad, but at the same time, it is like the most incredible story from what I remember. Really? Yes. After the World Championship, Matisse returned to the United States, excited for a July 4th party at the house of Blue Jackets goalie coach Manny Legacy. It is really nice little family what we have here. <clears throat> we went there the third of July. We played golf all together, uh, me, Manny, and Matisse. And, and then the 4th of July. I was pregnant, so I was like, I'm just going to go sleep because I do not want to be dealing with anything. And I woke up and they were having a huge party. I walked out when the fireworks were happening and I was standing like in the back. And Elvis wasn't even with me. He was sitting with uh, Manny and Matisse was sitting in front of me, and that's all I remember. And she told me, he's stupid. I said, well, why? Well, what's wrong? Look how close he's sitting by the fireworks. I was, well, yeah, that's, that, that, that's not good, but he wasn't the only one there. He, there was four guys sitting on the, on the edge of hot tub. The last image what I have on Matisse, that, he really was sitting like this and showing up in the sky, the fireworks and looking on them. And the next moment I took down my head to give a kiss to my wife on the neck and I see all green color coming on us. First reaction, I, uh, I, I blocked, kind of, I tried to block the fireworks uh, from my wife so it doesn't hit the baby or her. And I push her in the house right away. Elvis rushed towards the hot tub and found Matisse lying on the ground. The first thing I see, he had little broken lip uh, because when he fell, he fell on the, on the ground. A little blood on, on the lip and that's it. And, 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 and I just see a little bruise black from the firework. Then I see he's in the shock. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was trying to breathe, obviously. I got scared and then I had that moment I was crying when I was I was holding his head, uh, I was scratching him, I was I was kissing him and then saying, you're totally fine, you have nothing broken, don't you worry, because I thought the first thing what he's gonna worry, am I gonna play hockey again? So I told him, you, you are totally fine. Bye. Matisse was unresponsive when paramedics arrived. He was rushed by ambulance to Ascension Providence Hospital in Novi, Michigan. We were waiting for doctors and the doctor came in and then 
he started talking and asking first questions how far he was sitting from the from the fireworks and all that stuff and then he started talking in doctor language i call it because i didn't understand anything but the first thing when he said well he passed away uh, right in the in the ambulance and we were huh yeah yeah and then we realized what what he what passed away the fuck happened? According to the police, the mortar-style firework tilted slightly and fired toward the crowd. The autopsy revealed Matisse died of blunt force trauma to the chest. He was 24 years old. Two weeks later, the team held a memorial service. He got to become one of my family. He got to be my brother to my daughter and my son got to be best friends with with Elvis Matisse was my little brother I'm happy that in this life I told him everything what I could every single day I told him that I really love him when it happened I was standing 20, 30 feet back of him, and I was hugging my wife. He saved my son. He saved my wife, and he saved me. There we go. A month and a half after Matisse passed away, Alexandra and Elvis's son was born. His name? Knox Matisse Merzlikens. That's we cute. believe that we should mm -hmm. keep Matisse in memory, and he was supposed to be the godfather of our kid. So we thought that calling him Matisse was the right thing to do. I was praying to God, I was praying everybody, and that everything obviously goes well. They were looking in the sky and saying, thank you, brother, everything went fine, everything was great, he's beautiful. I was listening to the last Boyle's messages, what he sent it to me, and then hearing his voice, it was, like having him right there with me and that was that was um that that's the nice but hard part so you get like what happened in the story then all the way right he was a goalie and he blocked the firework from going towards them and that's how he went out which is incredibly sad but at the same time it's like to go out to save your friend, like, that's a really honorable thing, too, you know? The hell kind of, they said it was a, a mortar? Yes, that's, like, one of those large rocket fireworks. Like, the kind you'd see at, like, an actual fair, those are mortars. Really? They go up, and then they explode. So really it's big like, ones? Yeah. It's even, like, bigger than rockets. So that's those are, like, the ultimate ones. Sad and very good story. It's a very good story, especially for a goalie, too, because, like, the chance of that happening to block that one last shot, like... And the speed, too. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Good job, Emma. There we go! Every game that Elvis takes the ice, he'll be wearing a mask that pays homage to his fallen friend and teammate, Matisse. For me, it was really important to keep him in my hockey and still having his number, his name, his spirit with me, helping me out. This season is just for him. Yeah, that was a good story. I was really good. Like, I was super into that from the start. And that is such a cool story because, well, you know, like, obviously it's sad that it happened to the guy and this guy's really hurt from it, but... To go out being a goalie and then to be able to save you like someone you care about like in it's that a good same story way. you know like it's a good it's a good uh what do you want to call it like you you died for something like it, that was important right you know? cause mm -hmm. i think jared actually said he played hockey with this guy too in a certain situation that they were in so really? he got to know him yeah which is really cool if you guys like this video go check out the channel there is more on nhl and espn I'm not too big on hockey, like, I'm gonna be real. I don't know too much about it. It's no, not really a sport I ever got into, but... No, we're not, like, big sports people, but we watch reactions for you guys, obviously, when you suggest them, so we know a little bit of stuff, but 
Yeah, that's a really good story. Um, and that guy had a lot of potential, too, and that's the sad part is what mm-hmm. happened, you know, but... He'll always re- be remembered, you know, for that. Absolutely, and they even named their kid after him, which is, like, awesome to do. Yeah. Guys, if you like the video, go check out the channel. The link will be down below. More of a sadder one, but also a cool story for you. And we will catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.